And number three, we have Visitor. A very small game, however, it looks really, really nice. I'm not 100% sure what plans there are for this game. And it does seem to me as though it really could be expanded, you know, different areas, bigger things, uh, enemies or whatever. And I like the idea of basically, you're here, go to the end, into this cave, boom, and well, that's it. So there could be more to it. It could just be a very, very early tease. Not entirely sure, but I would like to think there is more. Like I say, visually, it looks really, really nice. Replayability, not massive amounts, obviously, because it's just from A to B. Um, but I do kind of get the sneaking feeling a lot of this may be just kind of picked up from somewhere and plonked into a game rather than created by a developer. But either way, some effort has gone into this, and that is clear. So ultimately, yeah, it's nice, and I would like to see more of this. And number two, we have TV Night. Now, I've seen quite a few games recently which have the whole pixelated kind of aesthetic to it, and I'm not knocking that in any way. Um, sometimes you can have too much of something, and obviously other times you can have too little of something, but this was probably the better one of all of those kind of pixely ones that I've played recently. Um, it's creepy, it's eerie, it's weird, it's freaky, it's everything all in one. And I kind of like that. I am a sucker for this kind of you're on your own in this weird environment feel. I like games like that. So this kind of resonated with me a little bit. Just overall, it seemed pretty good. Not sure whether there's plans to expand this, make it bigger, more to it. But either way, I enjoyed this one. And number one, we have Rivals. Now, anybody that knows me a little more on a personal level knows that I kind of have a soft spot for American football. My team are the Raiders. Not the greatest, let's face it. But either way, this kind of felt kind of cool just because I've never played a game like this on my channel before. It, I'm not sure if I've played any sports games at all, but this was definitely the first game or sports game I've enjoyed made by an indie developer. Yes, there are some little flaws here and there, like not being able to kick the extra point. And if you don't know what that means, basically, when you get a touchdown, you get to either kick an extra point or go for two-point conversion. Basically, increase your score. I'm not going to go into the rules of football here. Um, so, yeah, some things were missing. It seemed to be stuck in the first quarter. Um, it kept going back and forth. But yeah, overall, it worked quite well, and I really, really enjoyed it. After I finished playing the game on video, I actually went uh, loaded up again and played over again, and it was jolly good fun. So I'll leave the link to all three games below in the description for you to have a go if you want to, and I do have playthroughs on my channel. Feel free to check them out as well. And I will see you next month with some great indie Unity games.